Hello everyone, welcome back to Ryan Irwin's patent engineering blog. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the TrackMan golf ball monitor. <clears throat> Basically what the TrackMan does, it's a box about the size of a 15 inch MacBook and it's about 3 inches thick and 10 inches high and you put it behind you when you're swinging a golf club and it tells you how far your golf ball went. Very useful for golf professionals and anyone who plays golf often so they can test how far they hit each club and then when they play on the course hopefully they'll lower their scores because they'll be more accurate towards the hole. And the reason I'm so interested in the TrackMan golf ball monitor is because I've been playing golf with my dad since the age of eight and I played in a lot of competitive golf tournaments in high school. Um, working diligently on my swing was something I did day in and day out and Something like the TrackMan really helped me to dial in how far I was hitting the golf ball with each club and really helped me lower my scores. They're very expensive. They actually run about $20,000, so I didn't have my own, but uh, I had ready access to one, which was really helpful. And basically what a TrackMan is, is it's a Doppler, uh, a Doppler radar unit, and it has like a correlating circuit and display and the Doppler radar measures how much the, uh, the, the change in the Doppler shift is. And what this, and then they multiply this by a constant. And the constants really depend on which club you're using. But they multiply the shift by this constant. And that's how far you hit the ball. And it, uh, the screen doesn't project any math. It just pr projects the final number of how far you hit it. And, I mean, golf ball tracking Devices have been around for a long time, but uh, the TrackMan is really unique because it's really accurate and helpful, and it couples a lot of new technology that's come out in the past two decades, and most of the devices before didn't employ too much electronics, and um, the Doppler radar technology is really new. So uh, basically... In order for the patent to be valid, they have to go through all the previous claims of other patents, and they do that in the patent. They reference a lot of earlier patents, but the three main claims of the TrackMan are that it measures Doppler shift to and multiplies it by a constant to estimate distance. That's the first claim. Uh, the second one is that it has a bore sight at an estimated angle from 0 to 25 degrees, which is what I was saying, how it sits behind you. Basically, it can't be placed anywhere when you're swinging. It has to be right behind you, and it has to be placed in a distance away from it that uh, enables the ball's early flight to be within 0 and 25 degrees vertically. And the third claim is uh, that how they use an empirical factor for each club. This uh, is like a mathematical equation that they multiply the Doppler shift by, and it's really unique to each club and unique to this device. It's never been used before. And that's really the key claim that the TrackMan is not prior art, relies in the multiplication of the constant by the Doppler shift. And the unique formula for creating this, um, there's been a little bit of a lawsuit against TrackMan by earlier patents, but I think they hold strong because this is just a new way of doing it. And after reading the other patents, I feel like they successfully go above and beyond creating new technology. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next week on Ryan Irwin's Patent Engineering Blog. Take care.